Hi everyone, welcome to today's art practice activity as inspired by Tom Roberts. Today's activity will look at the plain air technique of painting which Roberts used for many of his famous paintings. I hope you enjoy it. Tom Roberts was born in England in 1856 but migrated to Australia at the age of 13 where he settled in Collingwood, Melbourne with his family. Throughout his 20s he worked in his studio at 9 Collins Street in Melbourne. Many of his most famous artwork came from this period in the 1880s and 1890s. Roberts' work consisted of a large number of fine oil paintings of both landscapes and portraits, with many of his landscapes being of typical Australian settings, which Roberts had great joy in painting. Some of his most famous artworks were the large paintings Shearing the Rams and The Big Picture, which, document, which documented Federation in 1901. Roberts was a proponent of the plain air or open air school of painting, which we will be looking at today in greater detail. This involved taking his materials with him to a certain natural or outdoor setting where he completed his painting. Today's activity is designed so that it can be done with a primary school class. It will involve a number of steps and should be completed in a natural setting. This could either be within a school or at a local park nearby. As mentioned earlier, plain air simply means painting outdoors. The activity will give students the opportunity to experience the conditions within which Roberts worked and allow them to create their own piece of artwork while painting outside. I will be doing today's activity at a local parkland called Yarra Flats in Berlin, where Roberts is known to have completed a number of artworks, including Quiet Stream, Heidelberg in 1885. That each child will need for this art practice activity are going to include a small stretched canvas, a selection of craft brushes, as well as a number of oil and water paints for each student. Now, you can either use oil or water paints depending on what's available at the school. Okay, the first step for this activity will require the children to, to decide on a focus for their artwork. Now, in the setting I'm at the moment, there's a lot of things that children could use. There's the plants here, the gum trees in the background, or even the river just behind me. They are, the first thing they will be required to do is to sketch the basic outlines of this shape on the canvas they're given using a grey lead. So the focus for my artwork today is going to be the natural setting behind me here. We've got the gum tree on my right, we've got the fallen tree across the, across the path and the bushes and the vegetation on both sides of the path going through the middle. So the first step will, that I will do is I will sketch these on my canvas here in front of me. One night to be confused, one night to speed up truth. We had a promise made for us and then away. Both under influence, we had divine said to know what to say. Mind is a race away to call for hands of a
One night of magic rush, the star to simple touch. One night of Russia's grin. And that ring. Some things students should be asked to consider when completing their artworks could include the effects of natural lights on what they are looking at. For example, do the sunlight or shadows have an effect on the colours of the trees or plants which the students are painting? When painting on plain air, Tom Roberts was known to convey the time of day at which he was painting onto his artwork using the effects of natural light. Students could be asked to consider whether they think the time of day influences their artwork in any way. Okay, on completion of their artwork, the children should be expected to have something similar to what I've done here. Now I've focused my main artwork on the tree going over the path and then the vegetation around it with the blue sky in the background. When students are to complete their paintings, they should be reminded to take into account factors such as the sunlight, wind and other, and other elements when completing their artwork. Once they've decided on the feature that they're going to focus on, they, sh uh, they will begin their paintings. They will be reminded to pay attention to the details of their focus feature and its surrounding natural environment. Once again, it will be explained that their artwork does not need to be a direct representation of what they are seeing, but rather an impression. It doesn't need to be perfect. Once the students have completed their artwork and returned to the classroom, they will have the opportunity to discuss their experiences in painting outdoors in the plain air technique inspired by Tom Roberts. And they'll have an opportunity to discuss how they, they think their artworks were affected by the conditions in which they painted. They can also contribute as to how they enjoyed the experience and whether they would rather paint indoors or outdoors. Overall, the plain air method of painting gives students the opportunity to engage with the natural environment while completing artwork. Doing a painting in a natural setting as we have done today provides students with an exciting alternative to completing visual arts activities inside the classroom.